Hey guys, it's Joker Lim, and welcome to this video. In this video, I want to take a look at the R1 crossbow. I will not take a look. I've already taken a look at it. I've already used it. I kind of want to evaluate it. I kind of want to give you a, give a review on the R1 crossbow, specifically in Cold War Zombies. I'm not going to look at the multiplayer part. I have not used it in multiplayer yet. I kind of lately just enjoy playing zombies a lot more and testing out new weapons and especially during this weekend, which is the double XP weekend, all of the possible double XPs are active. So battle pass level and weapon level double XP are active. So this is when I'm playing increasingly more, uh, especially zombies. And uh, I have been playing multiplayer to unlock the crossbow. It took 15 matches that I couldn't leave. It wasn't like this with Modern Warfare 2019. Uh, there I could leave after every challenge, but unfortunately here you cannot leave. So you have to go through 15 whole matches of getting three one shot, one kill medals uh, with a weapon with no attachments. So I did that with sniper rifles. It was pretty satisfying. I learned how to snipe a lot better during that time. But let's go on with the review the R1 Shadowhunter crossbow in Zombies. And first let me tell you, it is very satisfying to use and I have not regretted any minute that I spend unlocking it. It's great, it's powerful, it's awesome. And I mean, it's pretty badass just shooting zombies with a crossbow. <laughs> you could already see that with Daryl in The Walking Dead. Although I haven't seen The Walking Dead, don't hate me. And yeah, the crossbow deals high damage, I think it's 250 at uh, w without pack a punch without any uh, rarity it's just 250 flat damage to the body to the head i think it's 680 although i'm not sure uh but you can pretty effectively one shot to the body up to wave three now on wave three you cannot one shot to the body anymore but you can still one shot headshot up up to i don't know which wave but pretty high but a crossbow when you pack a punch it gains two things that no other weapon has. It gains fast reloads and it gains penetration. And let me tell you, you can penetrate at least five zombies with it. So if there's five zombies in line and you shoot the arrow through them, it penetrates all of them. And I figured out that this is best used in combination with the dead wire ammo mod because each zombie that the arrow goes through has a chance to trigger the ammo mod and Usually when I fire it into a horde of zombies or into a line of zombies, it triggers every time, almost every time. So it's awesome, it's very effective, uh, and especially effective at taking down large groups of zombies. Because, first of all, it one shot penetrates all the zombies, the damage fall off. It's basically not there, the, the, the damage does not fall off if it goes through more zombies. So just flat damage through all of the zombies, the same dam damage. And when you add the dead wire ammo mod to it, it's just incredible. Of course, you can add any ammo mod and any ammo mod will have the same chance to trigger after hitting every zombie. So that's great. But yeah, I thought this is very interesting. And when I was at wave one at the beginning of uh, the zombies uh, game with the crossbow, I told myself, if this thing does not have penetration, I'm not going to be using it and I'm not going to be enjoying it. And luckily it does. And the penetration is awesome and really OP. And the fast reloads, I guess that comes with the premise that when you pack a bunch of weapons, it's supposed to get a lot stronger. And let's be honest here, I don't think the crossbow would be really strong even when it's pack a bunch and deals a lot of damage. If you had to reload it for like two and a half seconds or three seconds, I don't know how long the reload takes. I think it's two and a half seconds or, or a little over it maybe. And these fast reloads can even be amplified by the speed call upper, so it can be even faster. And let me tell you, it shoots really fast, as you can see yourself in the clip here. It's incredible. It's it's really it's really good. I think I should also add that when you pack a bunch of the weapon, as you can see on the bottom right corner, uh, the weapon is called Lancelot, which is very interesting and quite funny, and I love it. Uh, I don't know, I just, I love every part of the new crossbow in zombies, it's very effective, it's very powerful and it's freaking badass just to shoot zombies with an arrow and, and penetrate like five or maybe even more, I don't know if it can penetrate more zombies than five, I have only tested up to five, but 
is just awesome. And paired with the dead wire ammo mod, or basically any ammo mod at this point, is just it's just great because it triggers after hitting any zombie. So penetrating zombies is a breeze and is extremely satisfying. Also getting a headshot is very satisfying. But the crossbow shoots kind of weird at close range, so you have to aim lower than you actually want to hit. But you get the hang of after some minutes of gameplay. So yeah, overall I have had great experience with the crossbow. It's very satisfying, very effective and you can go really high waves with it. And also I want to note that I only played it on the machine. I have not tried it on any of the, of the other maps so I didn't encounter any of the other special enemies but Megatons, it shreds them. It shreds them really well and really quickly. So yeah, very effective, very satisfying and I just wanted to make this video share my thoughts on the crossbow because I've been really enjoying playing with it and I'm really enjoying zombies lately as I already mentioned so I guess I will be evaluating a lot more weapons I've also played with the machete or that might be in the next video who knows but yeah I just wanted to share this with you so keep in mind that this is all subjective you don't have to agree with me on this but you should definitely try the crossbow you should definitely try it and see for yourself if it's good, if it fits your playstyle. Of course, it can't fit everybody's playstyle, but it's, it's pretty awesome. So yeah, um, have a great day, guys, and see you in the next video.